Hey cycling community, this is Steve Gusses, the Cycling Greek. What can HIITs do for you? High intensity interval training. We'll be talking about that today. I'm about to go off and do two sets of uh, 10 HITs each. The, the first set of 10, I'm going to be doing 20 seconds on, 40 seconds easy. The second set of 10, I'm going to experiment with doing 30s and 30s. If that doesn't work, I'll go back to 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off. Okay, that was a great workout. I stayed with 20-40s all the way through. I was going to go 30-30s on the way back, and while I was doing that first one, I was thinking, man, this is really hard. So uh, I'll go to 30-30s after this weekend, and this weekend's going to be the Modesto Road Race, and uh, I'll be doing the 30-30s and prep for my districts that will be happening June 10th. So you can, the body will adapt to anything that you throw at it in a consistent manner. So if you get on the bike at day one and a week later you decide to do some HIIT training, your body will adapt to that. Of course, you won't have any sustainability, you're not going to have any endurance behind it, but you're going to be able to go very fast and at a very intense pace for a short period of time. Now, what I've done is I've built up to a certain level, and that certain level is zone four, uh, threshold type of work. And so the HIIT training that I do above that going to supplement my uh, training that I've done so far. So, uh, you're seeing that example and on the video right now. I've been, uh, we're doing a regular Tuesday group ride and it involves uh, climbing at the last half of it before the turnaround point. And so I've been leading at a very good pace for me uh, up a climb and uh, the other three have been following me and one has dropped off because he's not that much of a climber. At a certain point, I'm done with my pull, I'm breathing pretty heavy, I pull off and let the other guys go. Now the other guys, they're stronger than me climbing-wise. They're, ju they're just uh, strong all around. Uh, one guy weighs 150 and he's like a diesel. He doesn't accelerate fast, but he just, he just ramps up and he goes. And the other guy is, is a little more punchy all around her. And uh, he's the guy that you'll be seeing in this video uh, jumping away. So after I pull off, uh, the diesel uh, takes the lead and uh, he's maintaining a good spot uh, pace and it's going up this uh, part of the climb that's a little steeper than what I was pulling. In fact, that's a part that everybody has trouble with, including me, and if anybody doesn't have any trouble with, I'm not going to be able to stay with them. Well, toward the end of that very steep section, before it goes to just steep, the, the punchier guy jumps. And he jumps away and so I've had one week of HIT training and I'm feeling pretty good and I jump with him. And I'm able to stay with him but only for a little bit uh, and then eventually I have to fall off. I just, he keeps, he, he hears me breathing like a racehorse and then he picks it up a little more and then I just can't stay with him and that's why I fall off. And the diesel in back of me goes past me and eventually makes it up to that guy and now I am chasing them. I'm chasing them all the way up to our turnaround point. And uh, I get close at times and not so close at times, uh, but it turned out to be a very good workout. So what that HIIT training allowed me to do was what I was not able to do in previous weeks. In previous weeks, I can maintain that strong pace, but if somebody jumped away, I let them go. Uh, and that happened, uh, in fact, that happened two weeks ago. Uh, we had a good pace going and one guy just jumped to our little intermediary stop point and you know, I wasn't going to jump with him because I was going to blow up at that point. But this time I had the confidence, I had uh, a little more uh, form where I could do that type of thing. And I, I jumped and I stayed with him. Of course, I went to my failure point, but that's okay. It's okay to hit your failure point in training particularly. Uh, and so then when I got my legs, as I was saying, I, I chased them on the way back. And then uh, another piece of video is on the way back, we're going up a short climb a short steep climb called uh, Crybaby. The diesel is who jumps away. He doesn't really jump. He just goes a little faster and just maintain, and keeps going faster after that and faster after that. So I jumped after him and I was able to stay with him until the very top where this time I didn't let myself go to failure. I backed off a bit so I could keep spinning and then I caught that back up to them. So I wasn't able to do that a couple weeks ago and one week of HIIT training at the right time enabled me to have improvement in that area. 
Today was the, the second week of uh, hitch training. Again, this coming Sunday is going to be the, the road race. So, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, Recycling Greek.